After party. Uh, uh, after party. After party. After party. Chicka 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 choo. Here's a remix, y'all. Do the pee with her. What's up, Koya family? Welcome back to another video of Koya and Ed. I'm Ed, aka Edo, this is my lovely wife. It went to the leopard print outfit Damn. on. Courtney, also known as Coco. Okay. And I never really liked leopard print. Yeah, like, like you back in 1975. Anyway, this is uh, Courtney and Ed. This channel is all about relationship reviews and entertainment. <laughs> and tonight we're going to be talking about the after party. After. So if this is your first time joining and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow. But of course, I don't post this over there. I'm just used to seeing it. So before we get into it, you guys, go ahead and go on over there to our merch mm. store. I just got off work, so I don't have all my merch stuff. So uh, go on over there to our merch store. Make sure y'all open the jungle and stuff. And purchase uh, a tree. tees <laughs> from our brand store, coedwear.com. And make sure you head on over to the lip bar and use our promo code mine. Mm. Now my husband don't wear the makeup. My promo code code ed um fam get shade. your discount. Yeah, at the lip bar. So all right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. You see how he to my need to say I'm up here talking about advertising and all this stuff, and he just looking at maybe like the lip mirror. bar can do things for a man like get some shaving cream or some. Uh, skin more moisturizer, or maybe you can come up with some for yourself, and then you can sell it and cut out the middleman. I could. All right, then. It's called. It's gonna be called the after party. Yeah. When you work so hard and you want to get home, you throw some of that tch, 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 after, after party. party. <laughs> and, then, and then look, when you open it, it's gonna say like, after, after party. party. Yep, then you want to call me in the bathroom behind you after. You're going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's get into it now. This was a good after party to me. It was. So you had <clears throat> Noy, Elijah Wan, and Sarah. Of course, we had to look up to see who Sarah was, but Sarah is a comedic. Uh, she's a, com a comic, and uh, she has her own podcast with yeah. somebody else. And she talks about marrying at first sight. So. And other things, not just marrying. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we just went by that beat. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So it's called Come Back and Bite You. So they show clips of where Katina is crying when she said that she felt like she, you know, she was hurt because, you know, the stuff that Elijah one said and all that stuff, he really hurt her feelings. And we was right. That's yes. the shirt we should have wore again. We was right. I told, well, I said, and she kind of chimed in on it too, that. He wasn't satisfied with a regular apology. She basically had to beg and grovel and everything else. And when he said, see, when she was crying right there, that apology would have been sufficient. And we said that in our video. Go look at the tape. Yes. Go look at the tape. <laughs> he said that if I would have saw that right there, I would have been forgave her. Like, if I would have saw her crying like that, I'm saying to myself, who, who, what? What? I, and like I said, the only reason why he apologized to her because she apologized first. He said, well, since you did all that groveling and begging and to apologize, I go ahead and apologize to you also. So, And he also said that, you know, he was a, a manipulator back in the day. So, you know, he I, was, un I was right about that. Yep. Because that's the reason why he lost his his mind over the uh, the app, the dating app she had on the phone mm -hmm. call. He used to do that stuff back in the day. He don't want to get done to him. Yep. That's what players do. They've been playing the field all, all them times back in the day. So they said, man, she's like a sucker because I played her. Now, we don't, well, they don't want to look like a sucker no more because they've been, you know, because they've done that stuff back in the past. So they know they can peak game or they projecting themselves onto that person. Right. Because they like, okay, since I did it, I know they're going to do it. So I know the game. So that's why he was acting the way he was acting. He said that Katina hurt his feelings because, you know, he was really, he really falling for her. Uh -huh. So yeah, she that's hurt his feelings, though. 
Keisha said it didn't look like your feelings. Yeah, I was about to say, how she hurt his feelings? It didn't look well. You know, it's, it, the anger. You know, what I'm saying that he. Yeah, that's not. That's not her feelings. That's oh, just yeah, you know. He's just mad him. because you know he feel like I'm giving you all this and you gonna try to play me. You know what I'm saying? That's not getting your feelings hurt. You yeah. just don't want to get played. Keisha said it didn't look like your feelings hurt. So she did ask Noah, "Well, how did you feel about the dinner? You know, like what was going on?" She said, "Well, first of all, it was, uh, it was awkward, and I felt like there was a private conversation, and we didn't need to hear." Uh, <laughs> and totally she didn't know agree. what was going on. Continue didn't know what was going I on. I totally agree with Noah. With who? And Noah. With who? No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> He said that he did, you know, because I think she said, well, how did y'all get past it? Keisha was like, how did y'all get past it? You know, whatever, because we didn't see clips of that. He said that, you know, he let her know how important she is to him. And he did apologize. And he said that he knows his wife, you know, pretty much trusts, is telling the truth. And, you know, he's happy with his wife. I think they still married, me personally, because mm-hmm. just the way that they are. So, not too sure about Lindsay and um, it could be. Mark, but, it could be. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so they showed clips of Noy talking um, to Steve, you know, when as far as the cleaning up and all that stuff, whatever. And Noy said they play like that. They kind of got that little sense of humor where they, you know, nah, say certain stuff. Nah, dog. You can play by certain things, but things that's important to Noy. Noy, I just pronounced the child's name. Her name is Noy. Joy Noy. Yes. Okay. When, when he was talking to Noy, and she was saying, you know, that's important to her. So when they were talking about that, no, that was no joking right there. She was dead serious about that. So Keisha said that it's not about the um, chores. They just really and truly seemed like it was something much deeper. Exactly. And she said it's more of him, you know, um, pretty much like adding more <laughs> stuff on for her to do. And him not really adding up because she's not adding on stuff, you know, for him right, to do. I didn't get what Noe say. No, no, Noe, no, Joy, no. Thank you. I know. I've been saying no. No, no you saying it because you don't. You just saying you doing right. <laughs> that ain't me doing no accident. So they also show clips of Noe um, not wanting to move in with Steve. Yep. And here's why. Why? Because. She moved in with somebody back in the day, and apparently she had to kind of she somehow they got the money mixed up, and he, and she, he didn't live up to his you know to his part of uh, the so called relationship, and she had to kind of take over, and she don't want to go through that again. So basically, she bringing baggage in to this marriage because she got done like that in the past, but they were just boyfriend and girlfriend. She just moved in with the guy; they moved in together. This is your husband. So it's a totally different scenario here. So, yeah. uh, you know, I don't know what she needs to get. Uh, maybe she still thinks she's in a boyfriend, girlfriend type of relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's why she's acting the way she's acting yeah. now. She, yeah, in other words, she's afraid, you know. And Keisha was like, she said she really didn't want to do that unless they was married or engaged. Yeah, but you married. And like, yeah, y'all are married. Sarah seemed to chime in a lot. I said, okay, Sarah, is you trying to gun for Keisha job? Because you was asking some questions. Yeah, like, you was old. she, oh, Sarah doing pretty good, she man. I was like, yeah. I said, all right, next week we're going to see Keisha on that number. <laughs> So, let's see. They show clips of Katina saying that she is ready to pretty much, you know, have relations with her husband when she was talking about her sister. She wanted to do the Uchi Coochie. I ain't lying to her. You keep messing around. She's going to find something else to do the Uchi. She gonna, what she going to do? She's going to bring that data app back up. <laughs> Restore. <laughs> <laughs> so, he said it's basically him. He is. He don't want to consummate the marriage yet. And why do you think so? That's a very good question. Somebody in the comments did say something like that. That's a very good question. Why? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I, I really think he he is attracted to Katina. Yeah. He he's he's attracted to her. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he feel like. Go ahead. Yeah, cause this ain't ain't like. You, I'm, trying sit, I'm trying to sit. I'm trying to sit here and think, <laughs> man. Can you use your other hand? No, I'm trying to. Sit, well, this is my in this in this position right here. I'm giving some serious serious thoughts about some things. Well, I really think because 
he wants to see everything all the mm. way through because sex brings in emotions. Sex brings in a whole nother dynamic. And I think that well, he really and truly don't want to do that just yet without seeing it through. I personally think it won't be until other they decide on decision. I, uh, but him being a player back in the day, <laughs> sex shouldn't hold no value to him, though. Well, it does now because you're my wife. So I think he's trying to, he's trying to think in a whole different space. Maybe, maybe maybe he's trying to change things up from what he used to do. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's trying to I wait. I think so. But you can just wait too long. Sometimes you can wait a little too long, man, and uh, continue to um, pull that dating app back up, restore it, and go to the back page and then Lajon will be mad. So I don't know, man. You know, sometimes, you know, when you, you when your wife wants to do something, you, sometimes you got to compromise. Yeah. So Keisha, um, they talked about Noah, the scene with Noah and her sisters, Sasha Fierce. Her sisters? Her sister. How many sisters Shasha. did she have? Sasha. I don't know the, the, her name. It's just Sasha. Uh, Sasha. It's something like that's the name I'm missing up. But yeah, just clips with that and, you know, pretty much how she was, um, you know, forthcoming. But she did say at the end, she did say, hey, the decision's up to you. And But I do think that y'all will make it, y'all will work. So Keisha asked everybody, um, is their family members happy for them? Like, do they like their spouse? Are they happy for them? And we found out what Elijah Mama what? Mama, uh, Elijah Elijah one, mama. Elijah one turns out to be a little mama's boy because whatever his mama say goes. He do it. Because all of a sudden he, he's right. I don't see him handling and continuing about cooking no more like he used to. And the reason why? Because mama got involved. Mama said, if you ain't going to step up, you start pressuring us stepping up. And he said, okay, mama, I'll stop. And he stopped. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so basically what that's what it was. So it was his mama that got on him about um Katina cooking or, or lack the of cooking. And um so he's like, Yeah, pretty much stop pestering that, that girl yeah, about that. Yeah, shoot, man. His mama should have told him to suck you on the dang on tattoo. Oh, but, man. You he know, just, nah, he's a, sometimes you get sometimes you can get too many tattoos and your body start looking dirty. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So Um, so they showed clips of Lindsay and Mark. <clears throat> And as far as the stuff that, you know, they be angry, get into and all that stuff, whatever. And um, and they asked Elijah one and Noah about it, but they did ask Elijah one about, you know, what he thought about it. And Keisha said, well, it looked like she going to the roof. And Elijah one said, she did. And he said, she said, you was up there? He said, I was. And they asked mm-hmm. a lot of time on that roof. Yeah, right? Y'all go back to y'all regular places. Y'all ain't going to have no roof. Time. And I wonder why. Lindsay, when she came back down, her wedding gown, her nightgown, it was wet. I said, like, why her nightgown wet? Because of the rooftop. And because of the rooftop. What y'all raining. doing up on that rooftop, man? Why it was raining, you think? Oh, so why just that's down here wet and everything up here is not wet? Oh, it was just, I didn't see yeah, it. What it was, was down there at the, at the like bottom, at the, of, yeah, bottom like, of her Yeah, it was wet. Maybe she got in the pool or somebody splashing water or something on her. So... I'm just saying. And <laughs> he did say that Lindsay, like, sometimes I think that she quit to call out other people's stuff and not her own. Yeah. He did make reference to that. And he was like, Mark is a good dude, you know, but, um, yeah. Yeah, Mark, you know, he's a good dude. And Mark just, when he gets with Lindsay, he try to get his point across. Lindsay raised her voice up and basically shuts, shuts him down. You know what I'm saying? And that's the issue. It's like a one-way conversation. Yep. Lindsay got kind of time, sometimes kind of pump her brakes and sit there and listen to Mark, man. And I think the relationship will go, you know, smoother that way. But she gets in her feelings so quickly, you know, and she get her little coat. I, I think she got a coat on standby by the she door. Probably do, don't yeah, because she, she grabbed that coat and somewhere. going somewhere. Um, Keisha did ask Noy, so, okay, so, you know, because Sarah said something about his bank account. I said, see, that's what I said. That's you know what I said. Saying? He could be a secret millionaire. That was Sarah said. I said. That's what I've been saying. Yep. And so they all talking about, you know, Steve income and everything. So she asked Noy, what would be the amount you need to see in his bank account that would say, okay, I, I'm cool with it. And she was like, I don't know. And here she I, said, just give a ballpark figure, just anything. And here I am with, oh. What's she gonna say? Five hundred thousand, seven hundred fifty thousand, a million dollars in the bank account? 
That joker said how much? Forty thousand. Forty thousand. I know forty thousand. And you making a big puzzle, man? I said forty thousand. <laughs> 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 oh, 40,000. So, 40,000. I said 40,000. Maybe she's thinking about that they make a year. 40,000. Uh, okay, yearly income, 40,000. That'd be good. But either way, 40,000 a year. 40,000. 40, because after they cut you in taxes and health care and all that stuff, honey. Uh, she just said, what she, she asked her, what would you see in his bank account that would make you satisfied? That could be your savings, your checking, your 401k. And she said 40,000. After all that complaining and whining, and I'm thinking you're gonna say like 1.5 mil, at least 275,000. Look, Steve said, uh, That's all he go to Yeah, say. man, shoot. That's what my throwaway checking account, man. <laughs> that's it. That's all you need. Of course, it's a long time ago. Here you go, girl. Oh, you cheap then, girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. That's all we got on, on, on this video. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Y'all know our after parties don't be that long, but we just wanted to make sure that we cover it and give y'all a little information. And get y'all a little entertainment also while we're well. yeah. All right, you guys, on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As I say at the end of every video, don't forget she to said, go up. Oh, she said. <laughs> <laughs> love her outfit. Oh, left her outfit, yeah. yeah. Cool. Love it, love her. I meant to say leopard. Not le See, you be, when you look at me, you make me nervous. I get my words. <laughs> 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 I still do that to you. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> All right, you guys. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I always put God first, y'all. Deuces.